owners of Back to the Roots to learn more about their thriving business. Take a look at all these incredible products. They have really brought the whole store into studio with us this morning. I want to introduce you to a couple of guys. Here's Nick Q. Aurora. Hi, good morning, Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. And then we also have your co-founder, Alejandro Valles. Hi, yes. uh, hi, great to meet you guys. Um, so I have to tell you the story. I'm in San Francisco getting coffee. It's a Sunday morning a couple months ago. And I noticed this logo, this blue on the black, back to the roots. It's Nikhil standing in front of me. I had just purchased one of these um, um, water gardens and I had been thinking about man we really got to get these guys on the show so creative turns out Nikhil is standing in front of me in line at this coffee shop. We start chatting, and the rest is history. Now they're here in studio. I'm so impressed with you guys, what you've created. Let's start with the background on the product, um, why you guys decided that this yeah. was something you wanted to do. Absolutely. First off, amazing. Where did you pick up the water garden? Which, which retail? Home Depot. Home Depot? Amazing. Uh, yeah, so a quick background on the company. We started when we were both seniors at UC Berkeley. We heard that you could grow mushrooms on coffee waste. Yet and you did? We tried out one bucket out of my fraternity kitchen, but we were actually going into finance. I was going into investment banking in New York, Nick Hill was going into consulting, gave that up, became full-time waste collectors, mushroom farmers, and now we are back to the rooters. Yeah. Business partners, you've received so many different honors and awards. I know President Barack Obama giving you guys accolades for everything that you're doing. So let's start down here and talk about the different products, starting with, yeah. is this mint, fresh mint? That is, and we actually used our first product out of college was this mushroom kit, actually. We found a way to Gregorian mushrooms on coffee grounds, start off going bulk kind of mushrooms for farmers markets and restaurants, and then realize that people wanted to grow it themselves, and uh, decided to create this little grow at home kit. So that's day 10 right there, so 10 days. Only and grow 10 your own days. mushrooms out of the box. And, and how great for the kids to really, as you say, get back to the roots, to figure out, oh, this is where our food comes from. That's totally, yeah, exactly. We're trying to kind of reconnect families and kids back to their food, and, and I think that experience then slowly translated to this whole line of like other ready-to-grow products, but that was the first thing that really got us started. Okay, so what's this right here? What's this, <laughs> and this looks like it's been growing for a while. That has, so that's our new self-watering tomato planter. So inside of there right there is this little low-fired, unglazed clay oh, pot that we bury right inside the soil. All you have to do is fill that with water once a week, and that automatically waters the plants for you. It kind of slowly seeps out as the soil dries, so you don't have to worry about like when to water if you're going on vacation. And I uh, just fill that with water once a week, and the rest kind of grows by itself. Totally brilliant. Okay, Alejandro, I know that we've got this. Now, this yeah. the reason I got one is because I wanted to brighten my desk at work, because I had just started here, and my desk was totally sad and empty. So you guys have a little beta fish in here yep. along with all of these beautiful plants so what do you have growing in here well and the whole system it's really an aquaponics system it's the first ever windowsill aquaponics kit and we were inspired by aquaponics the technology itself where fish poop is what's mm -hmm. actually fertilizing plants right above it and the coolest part of it all is the whole symbiotic relationship because the plants are actually cleaning the water and they bring it back down for the fish. So the fish it. feed the plants, plants help the water out by cleaning it. So it's this amazing big urban farm that we've seen across the country. It's a big movement. And we said, can we do the same thing we did with mushrooms and make the smallest system ever? Urban farming on your desk at work. So they have the kit ready to go. It's right down here on the table. These guys are gonna get to work and put it together and we'll check back in with them in the nine o'clock hour and see how the whole thing looks. Um, Marianne, I'm totally just, <laughs> I'm impressed with these guys. They are the future. That's fantastic. Great effort there, thank you, love that. All right, still ahead, we're gonna see how 